Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the blog archive element. Now, if you don't know what uh, the blog archive element um, does or how it looks, simply go to blog and that's it. Oh, sorry, not this one, this one. This is the blog element. Now, let me just create the uh, create you a, a quick demo, and afterwards I will explain why we did that. So first, let me just create the uh, section by default. The section has a column of uh, 12 columns in size. I will search for the blog archive and let me just customize it. As you can see the settings are whether you want it on multiple columns. Uh, you can choose any category you want or how many items per page. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to resize it a bit because probably you want to add a sidebar too. I'm going to make it uh, eight columns. Add a column element. I'll drop it here, but by default, the column has 12 columns, so I will make it four columns and I will add a sidebar. So as you can see, the, I, I've simply created a, a blog page. Uh, in the previous versions you had to create... Uh, the whole process was uh, quite uh, different, was a bit complicated. We loved the uh, WordPress uh, philosophy, but things could get a bit harder uh, to maintain and to uh, create them. So basically, now as you as you as you seen, uh, we I, as you seen, it took around two minutes to create a WordPress uh, blog page. I can have as many as I want. I can simply publish then uh, go to the menu and uh, create the menu item for this particular page now this will give me much more control over the blog page for example what I want to mean when I access the home page this page is auto generated you can find the options for the blog uh, page inside the colors options and blog options now we don't care about them in this uh, page builder example we do not care about them you can customize the subheader because it's a, a custom um, element for the page builder you can add any title you want you can set any height any padding and most importantly you can really customize it uh, from a, a visual uh, point of view afterwards you can add here any elements you can add here any elements here of course any elements I don't know a section or whatever you can add you, you can mostly do anything with the page builder it's all about your imagination and um, that's about it with the blog archive uh, I don't know I think I didn't define I haven't defined what the blog archive actually means well as you seen it's a listing of uh, the blog items It's like a category where all the blog blog posts are uh, listed so that's about it uh, feel free to ask any questions and also on to the forums if you encounter any issues so uh, that's about it thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye